Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing all super well today. For those who are new to my channel, my name is Zuzka and this channel evolves around fashion, beauty, travel and lifestyle. So if you are interested in any of those topics, please subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. As you can see from the title of the video, I will be sharing with you the entire Louis Vuitton handbag collection. I hope you will enjoy it as much as I enjoy watching other YouTubers doing this video. So without any further ado, let's get started. I will be showing you my handbags in a order of the size, so the biggest size to the smallest size, as I really can't remember the order I bought the handbags in. Mostly I assess my handbag collection every year and if I don't not use any of the handbags, I do let them go. I had quite a bit of Louis Vuitton handbags in my collection, but I really reduced the collection to the handbags that I really love, enjoy and I get some use of it. So let's get into it. First of the handbags in my collection is this Louis Vuitton Capucine in BB size. It is in Magnolia color, so I really love it. I think this was the handbag that turned me into a pink lover. This is more of a dusty pink, uh, but I still really love it. It's got a silver hardware and this grain uh, leather. I have been using this bag quite a lot while I was working and it still looks like new. It fits quite a lot. It does have a strap to it and look, it's got quite a bit to departments and one zipper pocket on the side. I really prefer to wear it handheld or on a crook of my arm, but I really love the options that you have and you can carry it on your shoulder. What else can I tell you? I really like it. It is a little bit on a heavier size, but it is a BB size. So the capucine comes even in a mini size and this is the one size up. And when I compared it to the PM size, it is the PM size is quite big and much heavier. So I really prefer this size. And I think it's very versatile and definitely a bag that you get a, a lot of use. These days I mainly use it during winter months or cooler months, you know, when I wear coats or whatever. But I still don't want to get rid of this bag. I really like it. The next handbag in my collection is another Louis Vuitton Capucine in BB size. It is in the color Galette. If I pronounced it correctly uh, with gold hardware. I love the fact that it's gold. I'm more of gold hardware person and it's got the python handle the same size as the pink uh, capucine BB. So I haven't been using this bag as much as the pink one because I'm not a nude kind of girl, mostly I wear a lot of colors but I think I will still get use of it when I get a bit older maybe <laughs> I don't know love it it um, took a lot of energy to get this bag uh, I got it in Europe and had to travel a lot of kilometers just to get this bag so I will definitely not get rid of it anytime soon I think the color is really beautiful it's very different uh, next uh, handbag in my collection is this Louis Vuitton backpack in PM size. It is in reverse monogram. Guys, uh, this is one of those handbags that I bought. Not sure why, uh, because I haven't used it yet. And it is in my collection over here. I will be departing my way with this bag. I thought I will get use of it on my holidays or, you know, when I go for travel, but look, I've never reached for it. It is I think a little bit too small for my needs when I travel or when I go for a day trip. I really don't know why I haven't reached for it. I think I'm just not a backpack person. Uh, that's the reason. I can't explain any other way. I thought it would be very comfortable, especially because of the paddings. It is really comfortable anyhow, but never reached for it. So that's an example 
uh, of a handbag that I will be letting go. The next handbag in my collection is this uh, beautiful Louis Vuitton reverse monogram cans handbag. It does come with a shoulder strap. Love the fact that uh, you can wear it handheld, crook of your arm because you have enough space as well as on a shoulder. Uh, I love the handbags that you can wear different ways. Love it. You can fit so much stuff in it. I mean, it's got so much space. It is a little bit pain to get in and out, but how often per day you get in a bag and out of the bag. I don't know. I was wearing it already a few times and uh, I wasn't annoyed with it so much uh, so I would get rid of it. So still, I love this bag. When I go for a Louis Vuitton monogram handbags, I like something different, not the usual style that everyone has. And I thought these cans would be something different. And uh, as I say all the time, the canvas is just amazing. You can't destroy it. And especially with the black leather, very, very easy to maintain. The next handbag in my collection is the Louis Vuitton multi pochette. As you may know from my previous videos or Instagram, I am a big, big lover. Never thought I would be using this bag so much, but always carried on my holidays. And as you know, I am doing quite a lot of motorbike rides and this bag is like a must have. I always carry it with me through the day. It can be worn crossbody and in the evening when you take off the strap, you have a little like, pochette to take for the dinner because obviously it's motorbikes, you are limited with the space and I, I can't carry my whole wardrobe with me. So love, love this bag, especially because of such a low maintenance with the canvas. I'm so worried that uh, I do destroy it. I don't know how that I would definitely get second handbag like this. The next handbag in my collection is Louis Vuitton Twist in PEM size in Epi Leather. I love this bag. I use it uh, all the time during summer. This bag originally came with a gold strap with a piece of Epi Leather. I still have it obviously and I do wear it here and there like that. But I have this uh, strap which I can carry this bag handheld and this strap comes from another twist handbag in PM size that had some imperfection and Louis Vuitton kindly exchanged it to this bag and I could have kept the strap so I do have the handheld strap and the, another long strap in red color and I really like it because I use all actually three straps this small strap the gold strap with a white uh, piece of leather and also the red strap. Uh, I mean, it's such a versatile bag and as I said, it always looks like new. The Epi leather from Louis Vuitton is just amazing. I, I can't say anything bad about it because it hasn't disappointed and I've never thought that the Epi leather is such a, a lasting and easy maintenance leather. Love it and would highly recommend. The next handbag is this Louis Vuitton uh, New Wave chain handbag in turquoise color. I mean, what can I say? Love it for summer. As you know, I love colors. It does not have too much space though, so you have to be very clever what you put in and how you put it in. I would say it is the same space as the Chanel mini rectangular. So I'm not really a back charm person, but I think this is the only back charm that I've ever bought. And I thought it's really cute with this bag. I don't know. I think because maybe of the handle, this handle is removable. So if you do not want so much colors, you can take it off. Uh, I like the effect as well, but since I love the colors, I love the handle and I'm holding it special because of the handle and because of the color. I think in this color, the way was the most attractive bag for me. The next handbag has a very special meaning for me and it is the Louis Vuitton Petit Mal in monogram. 
I mean, what can I say? Love it so much. I didn't like it when it came out, but eventually I fall in love with this handbag so much that I would never get rid of it. It does come with a shoulder strap, like it can be worn crossbody if you want to, definitely as a clutch. I bought extra the thick monogram strap to carry it on shoulders, just to give it a little bit of an edginess. Guys, it's not everyone's cup of tea, but I think because of the history of Louis Vuitton, if you're a Louis Vuitton lover, I think this is really a collectible piece. I like everything about this bag. And if it wouldn't be that expensive, I would buy at least one of them in different print or different leather. This bag has a special meaning, so I really want to keep this bag in my collection for many years to come. Never say never, but for the time being, I really do want to let go of this bag. I think it's really special and I love it. The last handbag in my Louis Vuitton collection is current edition. If you have seen my previous video of the designer shopping haul in Europe, uh, this is the mini twist in Python. Guys, I haven't used this bag yet. It's uh, got the gold hardware, as you can see, it still had the stickers and look, love it so much. And I really can't wait to have an occasion to wear it. I have to find a strap that would match this bag because I do like to have the option of handheld bag. So I will add a little strap to it. It does fit an iPhone 11 Pro Max, so very big surprise, it fits quite a bit and most of the essentials when you go out. Guys, this was it from my Louis Vuitton handbag collection. I hope you enjoyed it. If you've got any questions about any of the bags, please leave them in the comments below. If you like me to do a detailed review, let me know as well which handbag uh, caught your attention or you would like to know more. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. I would love to catch up with you in my next video. Have a lovely day and take care of yourself. Ciao guys.